It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for you. Another fun edition of the Brew Review. And... Not your father's returns. It's back! Yep, we had the root beer a few episodes ago. Now we got the ginger ale. Not your father's. Have but let's go around the bottle here. You got your... It looks like fucking Watto with the beach chair. He's a, He must be a lifeguard, apparently. You got your 5.9% volume, which you know is... Waldo is. Yeah, it, it wasn't hard to find him this time. And then you got your barcode and your fax and all that good shit. 5.9%, which is their usual. You got the sailboat cap. This shit took America by storm. <laughs> Not your father's root beer, Coney Island root beer, the whole hard soda thing just all of a sudden just... Yeah, it's like nowhere. a new genre, if you will. Small Town Brewery makes specialty beers that utilize Turnbottle Over. Unique ingredients with an unmistakable taste of nostalgia. I gotta give shout-outs to nostalgia. a buddy of mine. The guy who does our intro here at the Brewery, Mr. Eric, Eric, Pizzle, Eric Chrysler. Yes. Thank you for the bottle donation. Oh, yes. We five, highly appreciate it. Wow, 5.9%. That's a strong one. Well, that's about what the root beer is. Look, I found Waldo. Does not your father's only have ginger ale root beer so far? So uh, far, I believe more? so. I'm not sure about that. Because I know like, that Henry's has a bunch of different Henry's has a lot, yeah. actually. How would well, you Best know? Damn has a couple I, other ones, too. How would you know? You... You read, right? That's what it is. It's all over the news. Uh, the we're on camera now. You don't want to it's admit too much. It's called social media. Facebook, it's called Facebook, media. Instagram, Facebook. all that good stuff. Much like young, YouTube. Much like young Jake here, he did not have his first alcoholic beverage till he was 21 and no earlier than that. I had mine at 19, but I was in Canada when it was legal. Yes, but you know what? Something just... I don't know. We can't just do this one and just have like a regular review. we got to do something special. Something awesome. <gasps> I know what we can do. We can bring back bottle versus can. John and Ethel did this one, so it's another John and Ethel series. Oh, yes, indeed. So, bottle versus can, ding, ding. All right, so, bottle of the can has pretty much the same stuff on it. Didn't we do the root beer in the can? I forget. We did the root beer in the can. We did not. I don't think we did the root beer in the bottle. But yeah, we're gonna do like a little can versus bottle, like we've done before. Yeah, we're first, gonna do the opening of the cap and can test, the body test, the drink test, the draft test, all that good stuff. I do like the cap. Can I make a suggestion? No. What? Can Keith not open this one? I will open this one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, way to put me on the spot. So first time that ever happened, honestly. How about, how about this? How about you open the can? Watch it fucking <laughs> blow what, up. What, what? Good pop. Very good pop. There we go. And it's turning, but... Smells like bubble gum. Does it smell like ginger ale? Bubble gum. Just bubble gum? Bubble gum, uh, bubble gum. In that like... dish. How many pieces do you wish? I'm serious, it does smell like bubble gum, though. I don't know, I've gotten mixed reviews about this one. Mm -hmm. well, like I said, some these were both donated like to us. We didn't buy them. Some people like it, some people don't. It's kind of a half and half. I've heard mixed reviews. It does have kind of a bubble gum smell. What do you smell like? I wonder if it's any different out of the can mm -mm. versus the bottle. Yeah, she's not drinking, but she would like to smell. I would, I would love to waft. Yeah, she would love to smell. waft it. So. Mm -hmm. All right, the bubblegum flavor is yeah. more strong I than the smell, bottle. I smell a ginger ale. I there is ginger. I smell smell the bottle <laughs> version of it. Yeah, <laughs> smell this. Smell this. The, the bubblegum is definitely stronger in the bottle. Yeah, I, I told. Can, yep, I yep, 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 yep. I'm not the only one. Oh yes. All right, so. As with uh, all bottle versus cans, since, well, there's, since there's no, three of us, um, hmm. Yeah, how the hell are we going to do this shit? <laughs> well, we could do it like old school wedge, try one, pass it around, try the other. So, let's, uh, let's try can first, and 
One sip out of the can. I'll, tell you what, I'll try bottles. You try can, and we'll cheers. Fuck cheers. Face. Yeah. So one sip. Yeah. Not your father's ginger ale. Let's try it. In the bottle. In flavor burst. Hmm. Well, you taste the ginger. It's not like you're Canada Dry. No, God, it, it kind of has its unique own flavor to it, though. It's almost like a you flat. It's almost like flat ginger ale, but spicy. All right, now those two will try it. Just doing a circle. No difference from bottle versus can, in my opinion. I think it tastes like bubble gum. It's good. I think though. it tastes like bubble gum. Yeah. It's well, um. That's, that's well, the, the smell out of the can ain't strong, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. It's unique. I'll give you that much. Flavor burst. Definitely do not taste the difference. Mm -mm. No, Is it one of those that you don't taste the alcohol as much in it? I don't. I well, taste more Yeah, ginger. it'll fuck you up. I taste. It'll, it'll mess you up. It's one of those that. College girls shouldn't drink because they'll drink too many. And yeah, yes. and the next thing you know, they're gonna be like barfing and hungover and <laughs> shit. Oh, for sure. No. Like, you can't even taste. But as far as like comparing the two containers, no different. No. Doesn't matter. There, we'll break out a, a plastic glass. Hard Rock Cafe, bottom So, bottom. let's see. Uh, I'm sure there's no difference in color, but let's just see what it looks like. Ooh. Very light. This is one of those that you can't leave with the children. Because look at this. Think of the children! It looks just like ginger ale. It looks exactly like yeah. ginger ale. Yeah. yeah. Would you just look at that? Just look at it! Just, just look at it! Inside joke. It's a YouTube joke. Yeah. So we're gonna pour the the can. And it looks no different. Honestly, the can well, has it's more... Not... Well, the can has more carbonation. It's not gonna look any different, but... Let's try and, uh... That looks about the same. So, um, because usually bottle versus can, you taste more of a metallic taste in a can. Like with Yingling and Yeah, all but there's that, no so. metallic taste in that. It, it's about the damn same. Yeah, so. so I don't think it matters with this not your father's stuff. So we'll try, kind of... we'll try the drafter, bottle, drafter, cane. Can. Cane. Can. 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 Smells stronger. I like it, though. I do too. Try that in a drafter. <clears throat> Woo! Good stuff. Burp's good too. We'll have a link down below for the Not Your Father's Root Beer episode. Um, like I said, I've heard mixed reviews about this. It's just, people say that it tastes <coughs> funny. I taste more of ginger than anything. More ginger, but less ale. Well, I tell you what, it tastes a hell of a lot better than the ginger beer that uh, Appalachian Brewing Company made. Yeah, and it wasn't even beer; it was just. And soda. I love I love Appalachian Brewing Company, but their ginger soda sucks. Yeah, but their beer has been really good. Do you, do you like it better than the root beer? Mm, the root beer is like A and W. Yeah. It will get you in trouble the, and mess you yeah. up. Just be warned. This I wouldn't sit down like. Much with the, all the other hard root beers, I would never sit down and drink a six pack of this in one sitting. I would drink this with maybe dinner, or at a like a grill and chill. I would drink maybe two of them and then switch over to something else. My theory, I'd probably start off on maybe a couple of them and just switch to my usual Yingling. Yeah, yeah, this that's is not, probably how I'd do it. That like all the root beers and stuff like that, I think they're way too sweet to just mm. chug back to back. But I could drink two of these and, like you said, switch over to something else. Yeah, it's not really, you don't sit down and drink a case of it. No, but no, I don't see how you could. <sighs> drink two or three, switch over. Yeah. So Or PBR, uh, whatever the hell you like. So, rating-wise, I will give this... I will give it a respectable four. I liked it, but I like the root beer better. I will give it four. I would get a six-pack. My taste buds must be different from everybody else's. It's weird as hell. I smelled bubble gum, but I didn't taste it. But it was really good. I'm gonna say four and a half, both can and bottle. I I didn't. Yeah. Uh, four. Yeah. Four both. I should 
reiterate that. I didn't taste bubblegum. I tasted more ginger. I smelled bubblegum, but I tasted ginger, if that makes sense to you. Yeah. He, he on the other hand, tasted bubblegum. Bubblegum, bubblegum, man, that dish. Well, honestly, I <coughs> enjoyed the can and a draft the most. Really? You like would, the can and the draft better? I would totally give that a five. Five out of five. There I you would go, definitely people. give the can a five and the bottle four and a half. So there you go. So you like the can better than the bottle? I do. Generally, we like the bottle better than the can, but that's just opinion. <laughs> nah, we'll have it right. That's the old Burp's man. good, too. That's yeah. the old man. Yeah, we're old. Mm, yeah, yes. Yeah. Small Town Brewery, La Crosse, Wisconsin. So there you go. Beer brewed with natural flavors and caramel color. So thank you, Eric Preister. Thank you, John and Ethel, for your donations. Rock on. So, yeah, not your fathers. You guys are up there on top. Uh, to try some more of them. Your stuff. Yeah, hopefully they got like cola and black cherry and all that good shit. Well, like I said, out. this whole this whole hard soda thing is kind of taking the world by storm. It really is. That's all I've seen. Now. It's catching on. Like, it, this is something for the people that don't like the taste of beer. This but is for today's younger society. Today's youth. The youth of the, the nation. The pussies that yeah. can't drink real beer, they go to this. Ew, that is exactly. I just yeah. want. Sorry beer. to be harsh, but that'll, that's what I'm saying. That'll be me whenever I, I can drink response. I don't I don't like beer. I want to taste something different. Mm. I would say drink responsibly, don't spill it, but I kind of killed that rule last you, episode. You can't say that anymore. You have to earn that back. Fuck! You earned, All right. you earned a few points for opening this thing up and not spilling it, but... You have about 20 episodes to make it You up. have a long way Bullshit. to go. <laughs> Let's see if we can get through the rest of season four without you spilling anything. I'm sure I could do that. And stay tuned. We'll see you later.